Now let's hear this bad boy. Wow! I forgot how loud this car is. All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. We are back from Mexico and my Audi R8 that was wrecked by, well, by deer um, is finally ready to be picked up. We'll find out how much that's gonna cost. I'm sure it's gonna be a ridiculous amount. Um, and it should be a good video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it. All right, so we're gonna take the C8 Corvette today. It's been a while since we've driven this. Very dirty and the calipers are Ugly. Yeah, it is super dirty, but we'll have to wash all the cars once it gets a little bit nicer. It's still kind of shit weather here in Pennsylvania. Let's get a cold start with the Fab Speed exhaust. and it shattered. Awesome. Our $1,500 basketball hoop that we barely got to use because it was so fucking cold for the past five months. And now it just fell over and broke and shattered. Rad. Also, if anyone has a C8 and has any idea why it tells us to confirm a password every time we turn on the car, uh, let us know in the comment section below That's because stupid. it's super annoying. And what do you do, just cancel it? No, I put it in every time. Oh, okay. I just canceled it that time because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> okay. That doesn't change anything, right? No, not at all. Cool. Thanks, Corvette. <laughs> also, um, we are still planning on buying the Z06 Corvette version of this car, um, but we haven't heard any details about it. Pricing was supposed to come out, I believe, in March, and orders were supposed to open up, but pricing was never released, so we haven't heard anything yet. Supposedly, Street Speed's already ordered his, but... I don't know how that's possible if there's no pricing. So I don't really know what's going on with that, but I'll keep you guys posted. Yeah, we have so many cats around the property now. I don't know if they can see it. I'll see. Is that the one that was there? Yeah. They just hang out in the fields. Yeah, that's hilarious. How many cats do you think we have coming to our house now, teens? Huh? Um, I've counted, I've counted 11. I've 11. given about eight of them names and three no names. She's yet. so happy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I hate And it lots here. of raccoons. <laughs> I had three raccoons last night. Uh, awesome. They're hilarious, actually. Okay, let's go get my car. Also, uh, spring is kind of here. Everything has turned super green, which is awesome. Um, but the weather has been just <laughs> absolutely <Crap>. horrible. <laughs> and it's affected my mood so much. People get seasonal depression in places where they have winter time and like cloudy and cold for six months five, six yeah, months. <laughs> And like my dad and Dotto and everyone said, this is one of the worst winters that they remember living here, period. Not so much on how much snow that we got, but just the clouds, the cold, the wind, the rain, how the miserable. sleet, the hail, the shittiness. And um, it's really affected me. The miserable me. meter was like off Yeah, the it's been really <laughs> frustrating because it's hard for me to make content. I can't make content and stuff like that. Um, obviously, I can't ride motorcycles. You can't really drive supercars. You can't even really be outside. So it's severely in him. It's the type of content that I want to create. Um, so it's been really, really tough, and I appreciate you guys sticking through, sticking with me through it. Um, spring, summer, fall is gonna be awesome this year. We have a lot of stuff planned. Um, the first of which is getting my damn car back, but I think they had to remove a lot of the wrap. So I don't even know if I really want to be driving it around right now. But uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get there. All right. So first off, I want to give a huge shout out to Sun Motors Collision Center. They were absolutely fantastic throughout this entire process. They were constantly texting me and like keeping me updated with what was going on. The main time, the reason that it took almost two months was waiting for parts. That was the Germany. that was the main problem. Um, but they did have to remove large portions of the wrap just to make sure that there wasn't any. Um, what's it called? Scratches or dents or anything like that. So that's. That's kind of a bummer. It, yeah, so it's uh, this is the original paint, which is actually Suzuka gray. Um, what a difference from black to white. I know. I, I did like the white, but it was just too, like, it just bland. It in with yeah. everything like Everyone has white R8s, so I wanted to do something well, it different. It didn't look special. It looked like any No. Car. So um, I got to talk to InShane uh, Designs and see if they can just rewrap these portions for me. Uh, hopefully they have the satin black and the satin perfect blue because there's accents around the side blade. But um, the full cost of the car to repair, and let me tell you what it was. It was the mirror, <clears throat> the side mirror, 
this trim piece here needed replaced. Um, my actually uh, passenger side window needed replaced. They had it tinted for me as well. Um, the side blade uh, needed a new side blade, well the and then the inside here, this this plastic piece, along with some connectors in there. And then you had some and, stuff along here. Um, I think there were a couple little dents they had to pull out, but it didn't hurt the paint or anything like that. Um, and that was it. So just the cost for all of those things right there, a few little pieces basically. 12 just under twelve thousand dollars <laughs> so yeah Come supercars are expensive what's up Come closer but it is nice because it protected the wrap was teens what are you doing I'm you just put you know you have to put your hand under there and wait and then it, it unlocks and it then you use the and i opened it jesus and open. lord um but uh what was i gonna say i, I don't remember now because teens was being a weirdo so yeah. That's the inside. What? Nothing changed on the inside. I just wanted to see it all well, together. Well, nothing changed on the inside. Well, why would you need to see the inside? Clean, by the way. Everything needs to be cleaned. <laughs> all of our cars need to be clean. I don't even want to drive it around like this. It looks hilarious. So Actually, it kind of looks cool in some sections. Um, in the back, it's the, uh... Bummer city, dude. So I might just, I got to take a photo of this, send it to Shane and see what they can do. Um, <laughs> But hey, there's my fast speed exhaust it system. Just the way it I is. can't wait to hear that. I know I'm gonna drive around my R8 like this. Fuck it. I miss this car so freaking much. Yeah, that, see what they yeah, that was just from peeling the, off the wrap. Yeah. They didn't get all the way in there. Well, because Hector took it apart. He took he off the whole the Yeah, so I'm not sure what they're gonna do about that. But um I mean I could just peel it all off and go back to the white. Go to the white for a little and then redo a the completely re I looked online at wraps and to be honest, there was really nothing I saw that was in my opinion, better than the wrap that I have right now. I love the the satin black with the satin perfect blue and the stripe and all that. I think it looks, it looks so cool. I so love see, the blue. I love that blue color. Look so at that. Whatever you do, I feel like you should keep that blue. Well, I, especially I, since your calipers. I, are yeah, I custom painted my calipers to match that blue. So this is how it's supposed to look like this. But actually, on this side too, um, from pulling in and out of Dotto's uh, driveway when he I didn't trim his bushes. Tree. There's all scratches. Scratches here. But you can't really see. Plus, this is all from like oils of people's fingers closing the door like oh, idiots. There's a lot right here. Yeah. So, I mean, I could use a new wrap at some point, but you have to get really close to even notice stuff like that. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I just fix the wrap for now? Should I completely unwrap it to white for a little bit and then do a new scheme? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. But thank God the R8 is back. So, let's get a cold start with my. Crazy. That is baby guy. I, I so was. I drew I drive the shit out of this car. Um, let's get a cold start. Alright. It feels so weird to be back in this thing, dude. And I just got my fab speed exhaust put on too with a custom tune, so it sounds ridiculous now. There's teeter wieners next to me. warmed up. <laughs> My god. I forgot how insanely fast this car is. It's over 700 horsepower now. Wow. All right, so now that we got both cars uh, home, um, both of these cars actually have Fab Speed exhaust systems and I'm actually sponsored by Fab Speed. So if you guys buy anything if you buy anything from Fab Speed, that's because of the engine, not the exhaust. Yes. Um, you can use my code CAMPEASY and you'll save money on anything you order from them. Um, it's always linked in the description below as well for ease of use. Um, but we're going to do a little, a little rev off. See which one sounds better. This is a naturally aspirated V8 making around 500 horsepower. Let's hear her how she's how. I can't speak. Make sure the uh, valves are open. Oh, actually, I think they're open all the time. Yeah, yeah. Really loud. The only thing it needs, no yeah, some There's crackles and some pops. It does it when I'm driving and coming to a stop or down. Like really low RPMs, it'll low, be like blah 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 blah. Yeah. One two, but um, not when I'm driving. Yeah, that's because this is still a stock ECU, and nobody's really unlocked this yet. So you need to pour more fuel into it. The crackles and pops is just unburnt fuel burning up in the exhaust. That's what that is. So. I need to use it's in there. I already put it in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this That's, is so weird. I know. It drives me crazy. It's cool, but it's weird. Well, it would be cool if the whole thing was white, you know? Oh, Alright, right, let's get this bad boy going. You gotta put it in. Can I press this? This Can one. Press this? That's. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. You were right. That's how long it's been. Valve's open. Yep. 
performance mode? Uh-huh, my bad. Now let's hear this bad boy. Wow! I forgot how loud this car is. I know, I love it. You can't even compare. I hate when you like, let's do a rap battle, and yours always wins. Well, you know what else? Even with the GTR. The I GTR, mean, I was going to say, we could throw that into the mix, I, too. But the GTR, it sounds we need to do a real. Bubbles, we need. Not, no, it doesn't. This is a big V10, dude. You know. Maybe to your stock, but even your stock had great. S sounded really good too. So but I that's just know. like next level. Okay, we got to do some rearranging. So. Let us know which one you think sounds better in the comment yeah, section I below. I like your car wasn't here because I could just park my big baby. Big Bertha, right in the middle, just wherever you right want. In, yeah. I know. So it's been a while since we've seen this bad boy on the channel. My Lamborghini Diablo 1260. She's a thick girl. I love this car. Or this thick. car. Oh, I love this bike. This will be getting ridden very soon since the weather's finally getting better. There's our uh, giveaway Panigale V4 SP in full carbon. That actually we're choosing the winner. Very soon. April 16th, Saturday is when we're going to be choosing the winner for that. Uh, if you guys want to be entered to win our Yamaha R1M, patreon.com slash Customs is always the first link in the description below. And then here's Tina Wiener's uh, M1000 RR that we lowered for her. And actually, we have a new seat for her too that makes it even lower. So now she should be ready to ride this bad boy very, very soon. But uh, I think we're going to put yours here, put the carbon before over there, and then I'll throw the big Bertha in the other. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. okay. So I'll move this one up. Okay, sounds good. I was sitting inside waiting to go to the gym and this woman's out here digging in the rocks. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? What happened? My trail cam to see the animals. Just my luck. I went to press some, it's a micro mini card and I went to press it and when you eject it, it like shoots out at you. <laughs> so it shot out and took a turn and went right between the rocks. Unbelievable. And I've been digging for like 20 minutes. I was wondering what the hell you were doing. I can't find it. Hey, just get another memory card. But there was 300 videos. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry. Also, while we're out here, our pool is finally opened. Um, the water is about 45 degrees right now. Yep, it's a nice bath. But uh, it should warm up as we start getting some better weather. It's just the rain, it keeps raining and the rain just makes it super cold. It is heated, we can heat it if we want to. We usually don't heat the pool though. We only heat the uh, hot tub because it gets warm enough as it is. But um, yeah, it's too cold to use right now. It does feel kind of like spring right now. Grass is being mowed. Um, we still gotta bring all of our chairs out here that are all in the detached garage. But uh, yeah, it's nice. It's starting to uh, feel like spring, thank the Lord. So another thing that broke when we got back from Mexico, uh, along with the basketball hoop, was my laptop. So I had a MacBook Pro, the previous generation, the one with the touch bar on it, and it shit the bed on me. So I had to go and buy a brand new laptop uh, yesterday. Um, I got the new MacBook Pro, which has the M1 chip in it. I think it has 16 gigs of RAM. It has a uh, 1,000 gigabytes of storage, which is one terabyte SSD, and they're super fast. And the most important thing is they now have um, like slots again, so I can, like my memory card from this camera would go in here, I can download everything. It's got um, USB-C, I believe that is, or Thunderbolt, I can't remember. Um, it's got HDMI out, and then it has a bunch more, it has a headphone jack, and then uh, this is, um, what's it called? The MagSafe adapter. So it's magnetic when you plug it in to charge it. Um, it's got an upgraded keyboard and now it has buttons again for up there instead of having that touch bar, which I actually hated. And um, yeah, the keyboard feels fantastic. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the stupid notch is up there now, but it does have a 1080 camera now for FaceTiming and stuff like that. But I just feel like they could have come up with a better solution to that. I guess they wanted to stay consistent with, with their notch. BS, um, but I will be looking forward to whenever they get rid of that kind of stuff. Just be able to put the camera like behind the display uh, like Samsung and some other people do. But for now, I love it. Uh, it was actually very easy to transfer all my data over, which I was worried about, um, but it took about a few hours and it just transferred straight over. So I'm stoked about that. Now we can head out to the gym. Is that where we're going? Yep. And I think I'm actually gonna take my R8 because I just wanna drive it. I miss it. You are? Yeah, let's just take it. Fuck it, I don't care if it looks like I'm driving a cow wrap. All right, around. Let's just do it. That's uh, that's A's birthday present. Wish A a happy birthday in the comment section below. That's Dado's wife, if you don't know who A is. Man, I forgot how much I missed driving my cow-wrapped Audi R8 
We've arrived at LA Fitness. I guess they took off the eSports sign. Did they? Yeah, so it's officially no. LA Fitness again. No, it probably blew off. I don't know. So windy yeah, morning. that's true. As, as our basketball hoop was blowing yeah. over too. <laughs> cool. So we're gonna go inside, get a workout in. Then we're actually going to meet my buddy Alex, who's our financial advisor. We're gonna drop off checks for him uh, for our retirement accounts. So we do invest money. We don't just blow all of our money on cars, but mostly blow all of our money on cars. Um, so let's go in and get a workout. <laughs> All right, so for workout today, I'm gonna to be doing push day, which is chest, shoulders, triceps. Christina is gonna be doing legs, I'm leg guessing. Day. She's doing legs, because that's all girls ever do, it's just legs. Guys do arms and girls do I legs. I push and pull. I'm kidding. You do but legs. more legs. Do you do legs twice a week or three times? Three times. And then every other body Depending part how, once? If I'm super, super sore, I'll do it twice and then like full body. Okay, gotcha. Do you want to warm up with some basketball? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna warm up some basketball, do our workouts, and then I'll probably just check in with you after because it's kind of boring to show working out. Unless you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. All right, workout is done. Nice, juicy pump. I definitely shrank. Just one week of not lifting, and I shrank. It sucks. I gained some weight in this area as well, but I have a good pump right now. And when you're when you're uh, tan, it makes you look pretty good. How's the tan wieners looking? Good. It's I just feel tired. Yeah, I do I was too. Just trying to push through. Did you get a nice booty pump? I did. I tried my best when I wiped out on the boat. Does it still my hurt? My knee still hurts. Yeah. I don't know if YouTube knows that, yeah. but I ate shit on a boat. Yeah. Like parallel. It was crazy. Waves and just smashed on the ground. Waves coming back. It got very windy when we were coming back from the uh, island, Isla Mujeres, and. They covered the area because there was so much water coming in, so you had to kind of duck under to get to the front area where Phil was hanging out. And it looked fun, it's like a roller coaster. So I start to go down, and as soon as I went down, we hit a wake. And it's literally like a movie. My body floated, I turned parallel with the boat, and I just... It was pretty bad. My left side, my elbow, my head, my knees, I had like a huge scratch I was on my just glad nose, she didn't like break her nose. I'm surprised I didn't like smash my face up, but I was in so much pain and my knee still hurts from it, so yeah. hard to bend on leg day. Yeah. All right, well, let's go get a beer. Yes. <laughs> all right, we have arrived. Um, Cork and Fork is another place that we go to all the time, a restaurant. <laughs> I can't get over the look of that. But we're going to Evergreen, which is has a cool little outdoor area. This is the best we got in central Pennsylvania. No more uh, Pacific Ocean, but we're heading back here for some drinks. All right, beers have arrived. The leprechaun himself has arrived. And uh, we're gonna cheers to seeing each other and giving him all of our money. Yes. Sounds good. So unfortunately, we couldn't really film in here. It's a really cool place, but they had music playing, so I'll get copyrighted. But um, I think you guys have seen Alex on my channel multiple times. Oh, it's cool. So, what? Oh, it's God. Not that it is cool. Um, but he's my financial advisor. So his company owns Lang and Financial. Yep, Lang and Financial. Group. So do you guys take on clients all over the country or is it local? We're happy to. We've actually gone out as far as Hawaii. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, cool. So yeah. if you guys need financial advice, you want to do investing, all that kind of stuff. He does a really good job of making a lot of people a lot of money. <laughs> Not guaranteed. <laughs> Including us. Yeah. Not guaranteed, yeah, yeah. but we're doing our best for Read you the guys. fine print before you sign yes. up. But yes. anyway, he's awesome. So if you guys need help in that kind of with that kind of stuff, that's your man. If you're gonna give your money to somebody, give it to a leprechaun. That's what <laughs> I would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Alex actually hasn't heard the, the new exhaust, so let's uh let's see what he thinks of it. Get his reaction. <laughs> Back safe and sound. 
Um, Keens is working on her, cam her animal cameras. <laughs> it's like the nature channel over here at our house. Um, but I think that's it. I think that's it for this video. We gotta get, uh, we gotta shower and get ready and go out to dinner. Um, and then it's good I to have, be home. It, it is good to be home. A lot to do it was before. a lot of fun in Mexico, but there's a lot to take care of on this property and it, being away for a week really sets you back. So uh, we've been really busy to take care of stuff. And you got your baby back. And I got my car back. It just needs wrapped immediately. So um, I already hit up Shane. He said I can bring it by hopefully next week and uh, get it wrapped. And then maybe I'll completely redo the wrap in the future. But I think for now, I really like that wrap. Um, so I think I'll probably stick with it. I've got three other videos I'm gonna be filming this week as well, so there's a lot of content coming to the channel. So I hope you guys are excited. If you enjoy these videos, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one.